talk to you today I am gonna help you learn how to use Google Docs like a pro are you ready let's get started pretty quick I'm gonna go three to five minutes I'm gonna try to keep it as quick as I can we're gonna do this this is a seven day series so we're gonna go through the, from from setting it up the very first time uh, tomorrow we're gonna add some extra stuff to it by using some of my favorite add-ins on Google uh, Docs and then we're gonna keep going through it until we're able to create a professional looking document including graphics and illustrations and all kinds of other stuff like that. So let's get started. Let me switch screens here. Give me just a second. And uh, we're going to talk about Google Docs. Are you ready? All right. So I want to get over here to my center screen and transition. So here we are. This is Google Docs. Uh, switch my camera a little bit there. Sorry about that. Okay. So this is on a brand new Gmail account. All right, so let me preface everything that I've already said to say you need a Gmail account. So go to gmail.com and create an account if you don't already have one. Once you do have a Gmail account, uh, then you have a Google account, and that allows you to do a whole bunch of stuff for absolutely free. Uh, so here we go. Uh, this is a brand new Gmail account or one that I've never used Google Docs with before. I should say it that way. So after I set up my Google account, um, I went to docs.google.com. And then uh, very simply, it asked me to log in. I did that. And so this is basically the brand new first time. We can take the tour if you want. It's going to give you a great little intro on what to do. Uh, I'm just going to click through these. By the way, since this is on a video, then you can pause and rewind and listen to it all over again. And I know you want to hear my voice. So uh, you're welcome to do that. And as we go through, if I go something too fast, because I promise you I'm going to go fast today, then you can come back and rewind it. All right, new blank document template help you get started. We're going to skip that. Uh, you can find your documents by using the file picker to browse through any folders you've set up in Google Drive. Okay, next. Or search for any documents you've created and any that have been shared with you right here in the search box. That's great info there. Finally. You can click on the menu on the left. You see this menu up here on the left? All right, so that's the menu that allows you to do all kinds of different things. You can switch between the slides and the spreadsheets and the sheets and uh, get to your files in Drive. Also, uh, look, so if you're a Chrome user, which by the way, if you are not a Chrome user, then you probably really wanna try Chrome out, especially for Google Docs. It's gonna make a huge difference in how easy uh, the integration works with Chrome. Anyway, so you can add these other extensions they're talking about. We're not going to add that today. Uh, we'll get back to it. We're going to say, okay, got it. All right. So let me just give you the basic 101 of Google Docs. Let's create a blank document. And I'm just going to give you just some quick ideas, quick tips, things that you can do. All right, here we go. So up here, this is the name of your document, not necessarily the title. So for example, uh, today's title could be how to learn how to use Google Docs like a pro. Okay. That doesn't have to be the document name, but we're going to call it. So we're going to say uh, Google Docs. It would help if I could spell Docs 101. Now you can just put spaces in there if you want. You can do anything up there that you'd like. Uh, I don't know that you can actually use an asterisk up there. There are some characters that you probably want to avoid in that title or in that name. So uh, I'm just quick and easy. I just threw it up there. All right. So you see up here beside it, it's telling you that it has saved it. Now this is one of those instant saves. So as you're editing, you don't have to worry about, there's a joke about Jesus saves. Y'all need to check that joke out. Um, Jesus saves word processor or something like that. It's pretty funny. Anyway, so it does it as soon as you type something within seconds, it's automatically going to automatically gonna save it. And then as you keep going through things, 
you can actually see revisions of your document. All right, how long have I been going? Uh, it says five minutes, and I think that I gave you about a one minute intro, so we got a little bit more to go. All right, let's see if we can leave the tips alone. So we gave it a name. So let's throw a title up here. Now, some interesting things that you may or may not know about word processors is there's some things that are already predefined for you. For example, if we're coming up here to see the different types of text with, that we can create, so we're going to do a title, and we're going to say how to use Google Docs like a pro. All right, so that's a title. And I, all I had to do to get that title font and case and all that kind of stuff is tell it it was a title up there. All right, and if we, if we have a subtitle, we can throw that in real quick. Um, you can show off to your friends. All right. Okay, so there's our subtitle. Then if we had a heading um, or anything else, so we'll throw a heading in here. Now, it's interesting to see that some of these things are different sizes as you go through it, and some of the spacing is set differently. So these are just different things that you can try. And it wouldn't hurt for you to just sit here and create your own document and add the difference. So this is going to this is heading one. All right, then we'll do it again. And as you see over here on the left, it's showing you what you've got as far as your sections go. All right, then we're going to throw another one on here. This is heading two. And finally, we'll do another one for heading three. Okay, so notice they get progressively smaller as we go from one to two to three. Um, and there's other things you can do. We're going to get into that as far as we get a little bit later. So now we're at normal text, um, which is where we want to be. And you can do all kinds of different things for these fonts and make it as pretty or sophisticated as you want. This is normal text. All right, so... Um, Golly, I can't type when y'all are watching me. Isn't that the way it goes? When people are looking over your shoulder, you can't do what you need to do? All right, so I highlighted this. I'm going to copy it, and the easiest way to copy is do a Control-C on a, on a PC. And if you're on a Windows, I mean a Mac computer, then you would do a Command-C or an Apple-C. All right, so I'm just going to paste that in. All right, so there's a paragraph. All right, that's all we have time for today. You see that we have a... Well, goodness, sorry, my phone went off. So you see that we have some different things that you can do. Why don't you guys take this same stuff and play with it and look and see what's different about it. And then tomorrow we're going to talk about formatting. Um, and I think we'll go ahead and add in some of my favorite add-ins. Uh, so this is like we, like I said, this is a seven-day series. I'm going to give you three to five minutes a day. And you can go back and forth and look and rewind and all that other good stuff. All right, that's it. My name is Andy, and I'm excited to help you out learning Google docs like a pro uh, seven days in in a row we're doing this and from you started at start you started at zero and by the end of this you're gonna be on your way to doing a like a like a pro like as if tiger woods was doing this and he was a golfer but he's doing it with google docs that's what you're gonna do all right let's listen to some look at you now as you go home be blessed i'll talk to you later Load